People often ask how to make great images. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made these and you'll see how easy this can be if you use the right material. So stick around. Hey, Steve here, welcome back. Now I'm gonna jump right in, but I wanna start with a bit of a, a, an intro to this because I get asked a lot of questions in email around specifically diode lasers and a lot of engraving questions around images. How do I engrave an image? What materials do I use? What settings? Where do I get it? And how much does it cost? All good questions. And keep those coming because I like answering those and helping people out. But I, I did a bit of research on this because I selfishly have my own project I wanna do. I have a friend coming over and I wanna make something special. And I wanna do it in an image engrave and not use any kind of wood. I wanna do something ideally in acrylic. Now we all know acrylic doesn't really work that well with diode lasers, but I did a bit of research and I found this. This is from a company called Great Carve. It's called Scratch Acrylic. Now I don't think it's really acrylic, but it's some kind of plastic and it's got a coating on one side and the core in the middle is a different color. So when you engrave the coating off, you get the color underneath and you can see this stuff comes in a lot of basic colors, but also metallics, which is kind of cool. And I'm gonna use one of those for the image I wanna do. Now, if you ask me about material settings for any material, I would inevitably tell you, go run a material test and figure it out for yourself on your own particular laser. But Great Carve has provided material settings for you, so you don't have to guess. If you got a 20 watt laser, you can use these settings verbatim, but if you have a more powerful or less powerful laser, you can predictably adjust those settings, although you probably don't have to because this material requires so little power that even with a five watt laser, you're still gonna do some kind of engraving. So keep that in mind because this is a real time saver. There's no guesswork here and things just work. Now also I'll call out the fact that some of those material tests are for cuts because the good news here is you can actually cut this material and you saw the, the, the images I did at the beginning and I'll pop one up here again. You, you can see that I cut the outside of the image out with the Falcon 2 Pro that I have sitting behind me here and it just worked amazingly well. So I can't say enough good things about this material. It's such a time saver. All right, we're gonna jump right into a design here because I wanna walk you through the end-to-end -end process through the image, uh, settings in light burn, engraving, and then the final product to show you how I created those images at the beginning of this video. And I brought this owl in. I mentioned I have a friend who's really into owls. He's got quite a photography collection and I wanted to do something special that he doesn't have. So I'm gonna engrave this image of an owl in, in a piece of that copper scratch acrylic and that should create something pretty interesting, I think. And all I really did was I brought the image in. I didn't really touch image brightness or settings or any of that kind of stuff. I just dropped it in, got the interval set properly, which is about the height of the beam that I'm for the laser I'm using. And then I added this rectangle around the outside. Now, as far as settings, the cut rectangle is almost like cutting Baltic birch. So 800 millimeters a minute and 100% power. The settings for the image are, I can go pretty quickly because I'm using a 40 watt Creality Falcon Pro. So I'm at 18,000 millimeters a minute and 25% power, which is roughly the power that, that Great Carve recommends for, for this material. And I can't use grayscale, which is what I would normally use for an image because this material is binary. It's either on or off, there's no gray in between. So I'm gonna use Jarvis to do the engrave and that's all I have to do. So I'm gonna shoot this over to the laser. I'll take some images, some video of the, of the laser actually working so you can kind of see what this material looks like as it's being engraved. And then I'll show you the final result and uh, we, we can wrap up from there. All right, I'll show you the engrave here. Uh, I'll start out slow just so you can see how things work and then I'll speed it right up to, I think it's 160 times. And you'll notice that as it's engraving here, you'll see that the engraving is actually kind of gray. That's just some residue. So once this is done uh, and I get it cut out, I'll take it over and I'll rub some alcohol on it to clean it up. And now once I got it cleaned up, let's take a look at the final result here. And you can see this looks pretty amazing uh, considering how long it took, how much effort I put into it. It's just remarkable. And I think you could make a lot of money on these. All right, you can see Great Carve has a fantastic product here. It's much easier, saves a lot more time than the alternatives. And since we're there, what would the alternatives be? Well, you could take a piece of acrylic and you could paint it yourself some color and, and do this. Uh, 
it's not ideal though because you don't know what's happening when you're burning that paint off whereas these are designed for lasers and also if you're painting you're inevitably going to get lumps and bumps in it where these things are perfectly smooth so there is an advantage to using them now fair warning they aren't the cheapest uh, a pack of four is around 23 and a half dollars plus shipping and for that, you're getting four sheets that are about of about 12 inches by nine and a half inches. So they aren't huge sheets, but if you buy them by the dozen, they drop to around $5 a sheet. So you can, you can get discounts in bulk. So I'll put a link down below. And, and if you're interested in buying some of these, I plan on using these anytime I make, I make photo engraves like this and I want to do something special. Uh, I really like the material, it's easy to use. They also have leather, and if people are interested, leave a comment down below and I can maybe do a short or even another video on, on using their, their scratch leather. Again, it's not really leather, it's, a, it's a, a, a rubberized material, but it looks like leather, feels like leather, so it's there. Uh, and you can also buy that off their site. And I'll put a link for that down in, in the description as well. Now, with that, we can wind down, so go try this, get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.